Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We've come up with uh, six or seven words that are most commonly used uh, in Buddhism. So I'm going to give Rinpoche the word, and she has 60 seconds or less to explain the word, define it, or give us some understanding of what the word means. Okay? First one, karma. Karma is between cause and effect. It's other deeds. Whatever we do now, consider with the two kinds of karma, virtuous and non-virtuous karma. Does karma affect you in your next life? Okay. Uh, it will affect our next life. Also, it will affect, affect uh, this life too. So our pre previous lives affect us now, and what we do now affects our the future, future life. Yeah, not, uh, not necessarily say future life, just will affect our future. Oh, can be the moment after this moment. Right, right. Because uh -huh. it can be the next life or the life after that. Yes. Got it. So future better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next word, merit. Merit. We say all the good deeds that we have done uh, can, will form happiness or good resources. Okay. So the more good deeds we do, the happier we are. Yes. Okay. More wealthy, even can be look better. All the positive things that we want is all came from merit. Okay. Now in Buddhism, people are cremated when they die. Mm -hmm. Why is that? The Buddhists understand the body and I are two objects, maybe two things. So when someone exit the body, the body no longer belongs to the person. So just like trash, we want to take care of the trash that's burn the body. It's more clean and easy to take care of it. Hmm. Also not attached to the body too. When someone passes away, someone attached to the body doesn't want to face the future, doesn't want to go. It holds you back. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Wisdom. Okay. Wisdom, we use it to analyze big decisions. It so all came from wisdom. It's very important. If we have a good wisdom, the right wisdom, then we will make good choices. It will form happiness. Okay. Nirvana. Nirvana. We can say sometimes when someone passed away, die. Uh, but for someone who practice, have self-control, able to control, to choose their future. So, up, when they up to a certain stage, we say the wisdom, realize the emptiness, they enter into the divana, means overcoming aging, birth, um, sickness, and dying. Okay. Bodhicitta. Bodhicitta in English is, um, we can say that it's a spirit of enlightenment. Anyone generally an intention want to become enlightened, become the same like the Buddha, they must turn away bodhicitta, means the spirit of enlightenment. From this, uh, before turn away the spirit of enlighten, enlightenment, they must have compassion and kindness. Is not bodhicitta also achieving a peace of mind, letting go of anger? It's part of it, but part it's of. not only that. Because uh, when anyone has a bodhicitta mind, it's, uh, we can say that whatever they do, the first intention is always care for others instead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Atisha, uh, the founder of Gadaba traditional teaching, he exists in Tibet around 974 years ago. Uh, the king of Tibet invited him from India in to go to uh, Tibet to teach him Buddhism. So, uh, when he after he first wired a script, maybe a book uh, on the Learned the path to uh, the land for the path to enlightenment. Then he, he, uh, he after he finished writing that and he started Gadamba teachings. Mm -hmm. So he's a well known person, a teacher. And last, uh, enlightenment. Okay, enlightenment in Mahayana Buddhism it refers to the Buddhahood. Whoever which the level of enlightenment, it means perfect enlightenment, perfecting ourselves, we up to the stage is called the Buddhahood. 
that refer to a person fully accumulate all the merit and wisdom. So I already overcome two abstraction, abstraction of not able to realize the reality and the abstraction of not being omniscient. Omniscient means knows everything precisely, the past, present, and future. Okay. Uh, we hope that this video has helped um, uh, further your understanding of Buddhism. Uh, anyone interested in the Dharma can always email us. Thank you.